Hey guys, welcome back to our RimWorld learning series. Uh, I tried to make a little bit more progress between the last video and this one, but I wanted to go through the boring stuff, so I'm just going to time lapse that on the lower right uh, or lower left corner, um, and you can just kind of see what I got done in this time. It wasn't a lot. Mainly, we researched batteries. Uh, I've had Slick, who's not a great researcher, and one of our colonists. Uh, do a lot of that. And before I say anything else, let me just remind you that this is a learning series, so as I go through, I may do things that are stupid or idiotic. Uh, please feel free to- stupid and idiotic, perhaps. Um, but pe please feel free to give me any tips or advice or critiques, uh, or say you're doing it all wrong, and usually it helps me for the next one. So I will be interspersing some tips that I've heard or that I've learned as I go throughout, or just workflow things that I think are smart. Um, anyway, so we're still stuck at two colonists, and our original colonist prophet died. Where is his grave, actually? Uh, it does say the name- we've had a lot of people- yes, so here lies prophet, our original colonist, so we have lost him. Uh, but we did have two others join. We have Slick, who's a greedy but hard-working person, and Leo, who is a psychopath, and I'm having doing all of the butchering, uh, at your, uh, tip suggestion, which was really useful. Um, anyway, I did get started on a kitchen, only because I don't want them to have the debuff of having to eat raw foods every single day, which also comes with risks, and yes, I know that cooking simple meals still comes with risks. Um, at least believe it, I'm 95% sure about that. Um, but still, they don't get a debuff from it being a low-quality meal. I just noticed that we have this limestone here, too. I could definitely do something with this, only because I'm looking for quick fixes right now. Um, anyway, battery is about to be researched. I think I've got slick... Okay, he's he's actually more focused on animals, so... He, he goes through this cave. I should really be more careful with this because of the mega spiders in here. Um, but I'm trying to see if I can get him to befriend a turkey, because... Uh, a female turkey nearby, and he's got a 21% chance, uh, self-tamed recently, which was like a, a good thing. Uh, we also did a lot of work on the muffalos. The muffalos were really the ones that I- are they muffalo plur- I, I don't know, it's a fictional animal, but muffalo, muffalos, whatever. Um, anyway, I did tame two muffalos and now we have a female muffalo. Uh, and I don't really know how to con coerce them into mating, um, but I want more muffalos, ideally. Uh, ideally we could have like a herd of muffalos that are really, really good as, um, like, uh, carry they're, they're good at carrying weight I can't remember a, a beast of burden that's what they call them um, but yeah so now we have one turkey and she has 50% egg process progress I wouldn't really call that <laughs> like if you're a turkey and you're ovulating that it's a, I wouldn't call it egg progress <laughs> it's kind of funny though um, but anyway Ideally, we can get a herd of turkeys living here so that we that takes care of the meals, especially when it gets cold. And then we could also have muffalo living here. I've also given them designated spots to sleep. Um, but one muffalo got stabbed by a raiding pirate named Priscilla. Uh, so, I mean, like, there were, there were some funny things, but a lot of it was just kind of waiting around. Um, and I wouldn't have really had those stories if I hadn't time-lapsed through it. Anyway, um, we're hoping to get power through, and I've kind of started to plan out using... You might be able to see my really crude handwriting. I've never thought of this before, but I decided would it be interesting to actually write out the words of the rooms that I wanted in the planning uh, sort of pixel art. And that does work. Uh, so I want to do a kitchen up here, so I wrote kitch. You might not be able to see this, but this is going to be the fridge eventually when I'm done with it. I know they're all mashed together right now, but eventually that's the plan. And how much marble do we have? Will we have enough marble for this? I, I'm trying to get a marble dining room for them, only because it's really, really impressive. Research finished battery. Okay, great. I don't actually think I want to do anything after that for a second. Um, only because they're not very good researchers. So, basically this. Let's just plan out a little bit. Now, I don't know the ideal placement of wind turbines, but I presume that if I have enough room uh, in front of it, it should be fine. So, I'm going to try out... And you also, you don't want it to be a spot where it's really vulnerable to an attack. Um, because these things will, they will mess up a lot. <laughs> or like solar, like just with my luck, solar panels have always broken. Um, I'm going to try right here. For the reason being is that I don't want to run too much wire. And I also want it to be close to my base. And I'm planning on switching out this planting area eventually. So I'm actually going to delete this zone. And we'll just have slick. I probably shouldn't even have him doing so much crafting, to be honest. 
Um, but I have needed materials, and they've got a lot of mate materials. Materials, and they've gotten a lot of construction done. So we'll do orders, harvest, all of this BS. There we go. Um, we've had a lot of kind of up and down. We had like a psychic soothe, and then we had a psychic drone. So, you know, what goes around comes around, and for the most part, uh, it goes around, I would say. It's, it's more positive than negative. Um... Yeah, like, this storyteller has been decently good to me. Um, let me see. Slick. Studying, studying cone blocks. Cutting stone blocks. There we go. But we are out of food. Um, okay, so I guess I'll just go quickly through... Before I get onto traps, let's just go through our food sources. So we had the plants that we had over there. Um, but ultimately, I don't really want to use those. Uh, and what I'm thinking of doing is to set up a different grow zone way over here. And I know this is a long walk, um, but at your guys' suggestion, I'm going to now try this. And I want to minimize the amount of plant cutting that I have to do because it's kind of a far ways away. And I don't know quite how... I still suspect that blight could spread this far off. Um, but I'm going to try two between each. And we'll try three two-by-six growing zones. Uh, we'll make it of rice, because rice, generally speaking, doesn't spoil for a really long time. And especially if, you know, if we don't have refrigeration just yet, I'd like to stick to rice for maybe just one more rotation of the crops. Um, otherwise, okay, you're taming the muffalos. Now, I'm trying to get this muffalo more obedient, and I don't know, but I guess I'm just going to ask, does obedience affect how many, you know, how willing they are to, to have... Progeny Muffalo Babies. Hopefully. Um hmm. Need research project. Okay, so I don't actually want any more research. Uh minor break risk on Leo. What is it what is the need? Observe okay, that's only because he went into that terrifying room. I put one corpse in here, hopefully to make anybody who comes in here break. And another thing that I noticed too, between the last video and this one, was that if you wall off and door a whole area they aren't affected by the beauty in the other area so it's really really terrifying in this room and i'm doing that on purpose because i want raiders to go crazy and have a mental break before they get to me i really don't think that there are enough corpses in there yet though so i might have to take any human corpses that i find today and bring them in there um in fact i think that there was one yes We'll take this human corpse and put it in there. Um, of course, it may also backfire if I accidentally have my colonists run through there, uh, which does tend to happen in RimWorld. There is also one here. Okay, we can do that. And Leo will eventually go and get those. Now, what else? Uh, dead Muffalo. Yeah, throw it in there. You may as well. Now, anybody who goes in this room is going to go crazy. <laughs> I really want this to happen because I've never had raiders just experience mental breaks on their way and like it's too horrible I, I can't even fight these people um, but ideally that would happen that would be very awesome okay so we're getting the rest of the potatoes and then after that these should have enough to, you know I could really grow potatoes if I wanted to but I figure we're, we're safe with rice just because it lasts for so incredibly long um, and if you notice too we've made it to April May so we've made it Almost a full year from when we first started, I believe. Um, I don't. I think it was Jugist when we first started, right? July, August? Jugist. Anyway, um, I really think that this is too much work for two people, though. And I'm, I'm just hoping that we get some decent colonists to join. I did reject one guy. Um, I think Slick might still have it. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. My rival, Julii, died. Serves him right. At least there's some justice in the world. So I had an 82-year-old man come running in here he didn't have any incapable of so i don't know maybe it was stupid but he had some pretty crazy traits um that kind of made me pass him up i think he, he had a chemical interest and he also had he had something else i can't remember i think it was greedy i think he had a chemical interest greedy but then he also had transhumanist which means that he's always dissatisfied if he doesn't have prosthetic body parts which is kind of a big debuff that's like negative 10 debuff uh, and I thought I would spend too much time tending to him, and I just didn't want to chance it. Um, possibly it was stupid, but I think at this point, it's just really, really stable with these two, and I don't like to pass up a stable colony. Um, so I let him die, and I just took more hostility from the raiders that were chasing him. I pretty much think that the goblins, whoever they are, they just hate our guts horribly now. They, I'm surprised, or I would be surprised if they didn't send a massive raid our way at some point. Um, but so far, it's just been single dudes with clubs. 
This turkey is joining me. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even notice the message at the top of the screen. Okay, so this <laughs> I thought that he was chasing the turkey back and the turkey was like, "I'm coming to live with you." Okay, but great. Okay, so he's sleeping separately from the girl turkey. All right, all right. First impressions. <laughs> Don't get too close, you two. Where is my other muffler? Oh, my other muffler is is she <laughs> she got fucked up. I'm sorry, but she got really, really messed up by that guy. Um, I hope that she's okay someday. Because she got stabbed and punched by that, uh, Priscilla. That, that raider. from Now, who is she from? The Dark Goblins. Yes, these Dark Goblins really don't like it. I believe this is a Dark Goblin. Yep, another Dark There are a lot of them over there. How could they hate two people so much? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, at this point, I think I just need to set a few different work priorities. I'm just gonna speed up time a bit while I work on this. I think it should be... Yes, constructing has been good from Leo. I think Leo's workflow is very well set, because he keeps meals ready. But we need to make sure that we're getting the stuff for meals, first off. So we've had this big crop. I could harvest more berries. Eventually, we could use those. Um, but as for Slick, I'm thinking we need someone to do planting. Plant cutting. Growing. Slick is very good at growing. I should have that assigned higher for him. So I think I will do that. Um, and let's also take research down. So he's going to do the animals and the plants. Plant cutting. I know that's his lower priority but right now. But it's uh, actually... Let's put growing at three then. That way he'll cut the plants before he starts uh, sowing, which is actually pretty good in this case. After that, I believe that's about it. Um, hauling, we don't really worry about. Cleaning, it's fairly clean over here and there's nothing that's getting that dirty. Usually that's stuff I do manually too. Plant cutting, growing, mining, we, might, we may actually want to do some of, um, but they're pretty terrible at it and it takes forever, so it would just be nice to find a miner. Uh, that would be very good. And I feel dumb that we finished all of this stuff and just had to leave it here. So, you know what I might do right now is... After you consume this simple meal... A timber wolf- Oh, shit! Turkey is being attacked by a timber wolf. Um, okay, we have to rescue our turkey. Is this the male or the- No, go save the girl turkey! It's your chance to woo her! Okay. Let's go here. Leo, no. Slick. Okay, there we go. Shoot that wolf in the face! No, he's going to eat her! Oh, God damn it! I just realized that I am a totally attacking a wolf in the middle of the open. Live, 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 live! Oh, no, 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 wrong do Oh, that was the wrong door to go through. Come on, Slick! No, 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 no. Terrible, terrible plan, terrible plan. Ooh, I it should not have attacked a timber wolf. Come on, come on, get a little bit further. Get that far, get get over there, get over there, get over there. Come on, baby. Survival! There we go. Okay, we will live to fight another day. Probably not my best reaction time. Uh, he just got bit by a timber. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I should handle those better, and I will in the future, I promise. It's just that I find the random encounters so funny. Uh, until I die from them. Timberwolf revenge. All right, well, we managed to keep the turkey alive, and I, I do really value this turkey's, this particular turkey's life, uh, to be fair, because she could have turkey babies, and then that means we have food for a long time. I'm sorry, I just want to eat your children. <laughs> that's, that's essentially what I'm saying right now. Okay, let's go here, and that's fine. We'll Actually, no, I should not be speeding up time. Now, are you in real danger right now? Bleeding 72%. I don't know how to re. Okay, this is orange, so it's worse. Nip slick in the left hand, leaving grizzly tears in the skin. Ooh, sounds good. Uh, needs tending now. Probably we should prioritize helping the humans before them. B its right eye was bitten out! Oh my god! That's so gross. Oh, how does it have an old gunshot? <laughs> Who was here before me shooting the two? That's so bad! Oh, the inhumanity! I can't live with this! No, we couldn't really- I, I feel justified in the fact- You sick Timberwolf! You deserve to die there! 
<laughs> she just wanted a meal. Gunshot. She, everybody's getting stabbed and their left eye shot out. Jesus Christ, they're gonna be like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. Slick is now better. Ah, oh, he's rescuing the turkey. Now, did he get badly hurt? He got hold by, uh, no, he just got scratched and bit off a little bit. Nothing too bad. Oh, the poor turkey. Oh, no. She's gonna be like an old disabled grandma. Yes, I was in the war. Goodbye. All right, that's fine. Let's just leave that. She will be fine. She won't. Her entire life is forever changed, but, ah, uh, alas. Anyway, our colony will go on, and perhaps we'll create some way to invent, like, uh, prosthetic turkey eyes. I wouldn't pa put it past them in, uh, RimWorld. Um, anyway, I'll go a little bit slower from now on, though. Okay, starvation! Wonderful. Ah, uh, no, that's just because he was stupid for a few minutes. Um, but yeah, you know, like, I never realized this fully until now, but there is some advantage, and I think this is about greedy characters. Or I'm just gonna look through his bio. bio. Uh, yeah, greedy. That's the only thing that I can think of that would explain you enjoying someone else's death. Uh, so, yeah. Slick is is greedy, and I thought it was bad, but now it's actually turning out to be a really good thing, because he likes his bedroom a lot. Uh, or at least he doesn't get that negative debuff. Let's clean the dirt. Clean, clean the dirt off of your friend, too, while he's asleep. <laughs> like, play a prank on him. All right, now, one thing I don't understand, and I think that it has a relation to how long it takes for the food to spoil, is that certain meals seem to take different times to spoil. So I believe that it's based on what material goes into them, because this one says, only made of potatoes. It's potato soup all the time, I guess, for days. Hmm, let me see what else, though. Okay, we got, we got a lot of what I needed. Now, at this point... Really, the thing that would most advance our colony, because we're pretty much treading water right now. Like, Leo is making meals, we're getting potatoes, but slowly, slowly but surely, that is going to go away. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking is that what we need to do is have a massive mining project. Um, which stinks because these guys are both terrible at mining, and I do want to keep... 10 meals around. I never showed you my workflow for this, but I try to keep it not too high, um, but not too low either, only because I don't, I don't want it to get too low. Um, but what I might end up doing shortly after Leo finishes the rest of his construction projects is to just... Okay, and we are gonna... Uh, I mean, this is necessary because it's gonna defend us. But I am ultimately going to want to get out a big mining project where I get all of this steel, use it for a windmill, put a battery here, and then use that to fuel a heat mover from our fridge. The thing that's going to be crazy about that is that so much stuff tends to go wrong with electricity. And, okay, here we go. Pretty much just what I was waiting for. All right. A ranch owner named Tina <laughs> calls you from nearby. She is tra being chased by outlanders from Allura. She begs- these Allurans don't like me. She chases, begs for safety and offers to join your colony. She is 52, okay. There's no time to collect more inspiration. A decent age. Um, one town councilman and one villager are chasing her. Alright, um, since I don't really care about other factions' opinion of me, I'm going to check her out. Okay, so Tina, let's just learn about you. Incapable of dumb labor, that's a really awful one to have. Um, she could be our new animal person then, though. I'm just trying to think. Jogger and abrasive. Jogger's good, abrasive's bad. But she could be a researcher, too. I really, really hate this one. How are you a rancher who got away with no dumb labor? Um, we're gonna try to defend her, if we can, because I think our defenses are pretty well made. <laughs> pretty well made, it's like three spike traps. But at the same time, we'll give it a shot. See if they manage to kill themselves on our traps. Because more than anything else, I need more colonists right now. So we'll just draft her in. Uh, and see what, now what in the world should we do? Uh, do we have any traps we could really quickly reinstall? 
I don't think so. Let's just make sure that all of our entrances are open because I have had stupid stuff happen today. Nope, I, looks good to me. All right, fortunately she came from the south and not the north because we are not prepared up there. Now what, I think there, oh, I thought there was a gun. Okay, you can take the, there's a gun. Yeah, take that gun, god damn it. All right, uh, let's see, what, what, what are you into? You're into melee combat. Uh, mm, ew, they have pistols. No one's had pistols yet. They're like, good sir. <laughs> My bowler hat is slightly, slightly tilted today. Okay, please anger the mega spiders on your way over. Probably not gonna happen though, and they're pro- Ooh, that's not a good angle for them to come to my base. Uh, they're probably gonna kill all my animals. Oh, my animals might be dead. Hmm. Alright. Well, look at it like this. We have three people armed with guns. As soon as I equip this auto pistol, eventually I'll want her to have something else. We're gonna need to draft everybody for this, so I'm just gonna get them out of bed. Why are you- Oh yeah, you got bit by a wolf. Okay, um, don't want to waste any time here. Let's just see what their shooting skill is. Bio shooting three, not that great. And shooting one, not that great either. And are they psychopath greedy? So they aren't, he's not going to go crazy from seeing the dead body. Uh, he has a great memory. Oh, that's great. Good for you. All right. Um, <laughs> the fuck does that have to do with anything? All right, let's go over here. Uh, that's actually not a bad trait. I would like to bring him into my army. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, you idiots. You fucking idiots. Wow. I No, come on. He's like, I'm tired. Come on, Megas. I can't think of a... Is there any way I can affect this? Not that I know of. That was pretty goddamn dumb of them. Are they going to hunt down that mega spider? Okay, wait, wait. Assuming that they don't hunt down the mega spider, I'm going to bring everybody out here, and I'm going to slowly try to lead... This is, might not work. But I'm going to take a chance here only because I want to lead them into these spike traps. I'm going to move them here, and then I want them to move back through so that they're around here-ish, and then they come through this way. Because if they can't come through here, because I'm not ready for them there. And fortunately, they have been idiots. And they are actually chasing mega spiders into battle for no reason whatsoever. Okay, so we are fine. Everybody's undrafted. Wow, that could not have gone any better. Hopefully they don't kill either of them. I'm actually... This is one of the rare situations where I'm rooting for mega spiders. Um, Outlanders, <laughs> they are fleeing. Oh, great. Okay, and we got a gun too. And we might even manage to rescue one of them. Was this the guy with the good memory? Uh, this was the Great Memory Pyromaniac, although I don't love, I don't have a, you know, there's a special place in my heart for them, but I... <laughs> Alright, let's just, I want to take a, a second here, did they, did the Mega Spiders chase him out? Wow! Where are the Mega Spiders now? There's one over there, but it's healing, so it may take a little while. Now, I don't want to deprive this Mega Spider of a meal. He's in mind-shattering... Let me just pause for a second. Uh, yeah, he's going to be pretty fucked up. Let's see, he got cut, cracked, cut, 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 cut. Okay, so nothing too debilitating. So we could feasibly bring this guy in. I kind of want him in my colony. Um, but let's just see, though. What is his social... Does he speak our language? Oh, gosh, I can't remember where that is. Though There is a part where, you know, if they don't speak your language, it's actually harder for you to recruit them. Social, I don't see that. No relationships. Okay, so... Who's the most stable right now? Slick is the most stable, so I'm actually going to draft him. Um, and I'm going to put a sleeping spot in here. Oof. I'm a little undecided about this, but we could... Ah, you know what, screw it. you got to take some chances. Let's put a sleeping spot in here, and then we'll change that for prisoners. And I'm going to have Slick capture him. Alright, get in there, bud. Capture Redfoot Evangelist. <laughs> how is he? Explain to me how this man is an evangelist. He looks like, uh... I don't know, a guy from a Victorian novel. Capturing Redfoot. Okay, let me just make sure I'm not going to get screwed on my way in. Um... 
I haven't I haven't fucked with mega spiders in a while. You know what? I gotta I gotta stop cursing. Danced. I haven't danced with mega spiders in a while. But that mega spider is healing. So if I were that mega spider, I probably wouldn't attack me. I would just be like, you take that guy. <laughs> he shot me. Yes, officer, that's the man who fired at me. <laughs> okay. Please, 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 please. We're okay. Okay, great. Um, wow, I've never done this before. This is actually quite climactic. Now, uh, tomorrow we're gonna need to get some medicine so that we could actually save this guy. And in fact, that's something that I'd probably better do right now. Leo, are you too close to a breaking? Only because I really don't want him to break. Okay, you know what? You're getting out of bed. Uh, and you are going to... Cut some heal root. Uh, I'm gonna have him do that one, and then that one. And then that one, and then that one. Wow, that... That muffalo is still producing a lot of milk. And then we'll go over here. And then... I just wanna make sure he gets all of them. And then haul that medicine. Okay, so that should be enough to hopefully save this man's life from the mega spider scratches. But if not, I won't really be heartbroken because we didn't have him much to begin with. Alright, let's continue that. And in fact, Tina, are you... Well, she might be close to snapping because she's been observing Robin... Right? Yeah, she's not too happy about this, so I'm just gonna let her sleep. Alright, let's see if we can save this gentleman's life. Uh, Slick, you are going to... Find more heal root. We really need a lot of this, man. Okay, let's go here. Harvest and slick you harvest. I think he's pretty decent at plant cutting. So, we'll see if we can get him to do this. And actually, do we have enough medicine on hand? No, we don't. But we want to make sure that we have some on hand for us, too, obviously. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, he is dead. Okay, never mind. Alright, so that was all for nothing. Well, it's always worth it to try it. He died of blood loss, though. Thank God that the Mega Spiders were in there, and fortunately... Ooh, good, there's still two Mega Spiders, so they... And they have a hive, too, so they could be reproducing and actually defending our borders. Um, how are we on... We got a little time left. Okay, I think I'm just gonna speed up a little bit here. And let's just work on Tina's workflow. So first off, we want to give her some restrictions, because she's a new colonist, she does not have her recreation assigned yet, so we're gonna give her that. Um, she's also consuming meals, uh, and we're going to need proportionally a little bit more mealage. Uh, let's have her, let's bring it up to like 12 meals, not too many more. Uh, because we already had some in excess. Okay, so she can cut grass, that's not dumb labor? Really? Um, but she can't, whoa, wait, she can, she can do that, but that's not, oh no, dumb labor is like hauling and stuff and cleaning or something like that, right? Okay, so then this is fine with her. Uh, we need somebody to be mining, so I'm going to have her... She's really good at handling, so I think I'm going to take Slick off of the handling. He's good at it, but he's not as good as she is. And I'm also going to have her, for right now, I want her to mine very badly. I don't want her growing, uh, at all. She's terrible at it. So let's do that, and we'll set up these to two priority. Okay, great, so she can, but doesn't really need to do plant cutting, so she's just gonna go straight to mining. Alright, so there you have it. I figure I'm gonna swipe out there. Um, our turkey lost an eye. That was kind of- that was probably the most depressing part of the episode. I feel really bad for the turkey. Is this muffalo gonna die right here? Um, okay, no, they are gradually coming over to feed it. I guess, in theory, they could feed it its own milk. That would be kind of odd. Um, but it would, you know, I mean, this is the Grapes of Wrath. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, literature joke. Anyway, there we go. Uh, Tina is mining. We're ready for our construction project. So we're going to be getting power online soon and hopefully, before long, a dining room. Anyway, let me know if you have any tips. I'm going to save it there. And uh, yeah, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for all the good help. Uh, I really appreciate it from the last few videos. I've definitely learned a lot about the game. And if you're still learning the game, possibly, then check out the comment section because there's some really good taps down there. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.